The single biggest TV story to emerge from 2021's frustratingly virtual CES was the rebirth of mini LED backlight technology. TCL will already be shouting at the screen that it's been selling mini LED TVs for two years now, and that's true, it has. But mini LED's status as a potentially next gen TV technology was undoubtedly lifted to a whole new level by the announcements by both Samsung and LG that they, too, would be incorporating mini LED technology into their 2021 TV ranges. Samsung has become the first of the South Korean electronics giants to release one of its debut mini LED sets into the wild. And surprisingly given the push the brand has been giving 8K in recent years, that first Samsung Mini LED is its flagship 4K model for 2021, the 65-inch QN65QN90A. Anyone reading this article in Europe should note that this exact model is not available there. The closest equivalent model is the QE65QN95A, which uses the same screen spec, but ships with an external connections box instead of building all of its connections into the main TV chassis like the QN90A does. The European version will cost more than the $2,600 QN90A, but final European prices have yet to be announced. As well as potentially allowing Samsung to deliver game-changing levels of backlight control, the shift to mini-LED technology, which removes the bulky lens and packaging elements associated with normal LED lights, for the 65QN90A has enabled a much slimmer design than you got with last year's equivalent model. As a rather unsvelte person myself, I kind of liked the chunky monolithic design of that predecessor. But there's no doubt that the 65QN90A's back-end trimness makes for a more elegant, refined presence in your living room, especially given that the frame around the screen is so slim you barely notice it. The big deal with mini-LED technology, of course, is that making the lighting units that illuminate the screen much smaller makes it possible to fit many more of them into the same screen area. Partner this with advanced local dimming capable of driving far more separate lighting zones, and you've got a potentially transformative backlight scenario. In the 65QN90A's case, this equates to 792 separate dimming zones. This is not the thousands of dimming zones mentioned in some general mini-LED hype, and is apparently less than we can expect to find in Samsung's upcoming 8K mini-LED TVs. On the other hand, 792 ones is considerably more than the 480 zones that marked the most we found on any of Samsung's 2020 sets. In fact, 2020's 4K flagship only benefited from 120 separate dimming zones, even though that set actually cost $100 more at launch than the 65QN90A.